Hi guys, and thank you so much for joining me again for another virtual home environment tour. We're in Krusty's Crab, which is SpongeBob SquarePants, and you know, Patrick Starfish, of course, but yeah, what a wonderful environment this is. So here we go again. We're gonna jump into some more virtual home environments, and uh, let's see how we go, eh? Oh, wow, this is the Friends Apartment, complete with the audience view up here. <laughs> And the theme music! Oh wow, this is incredible. Okay, so can we go near the door? We can. There's the door, guys. Walking straight in. Who would we expect to see in this apartment? Incredible. Let's go near the fridge. <gasps> yeah! <laughs> okay. And I think we can probably go somewhere over here. Feel like a bit of trivia on the friend set? <laughs> This is wicked. Unreal. Yeah, I quite like this one. I think this will fast become one of my favorite virtual home environments. Can we go up over there? No, we can't. Can we go outside? Wow. Oh, I really, really do love this set. Anyway, let's go into the next one. Pokemon Center. Okay, so here we are in the Pokemon Center. Yeah, this looks pretty basic, I guess, but uh, let's have a look over here, eh? What have we got? I wonder what's in there. Anyway, that's the Pokemon Center. A little bit closer to the counter. <laughs> Not too bad. Okay, let's go into the next one, which is going to be Gravity Falls. Oh, wow. The Mystery Shack. This looks really cool. There's the Oculus Symbol. Keep an eye out for those Oculus Symbols, guys, as we go through each of these environments. See if you can find them. But wow, this one looks pretty good as well. Gravity Falls up there. Wonderful. Yeah, it's quite cartoonish. All right. The next one we're going to go into, guys, is going to be uh, the back rooms. All right. So some of you might not be familiar what the back rooms is. Have a Google. And you'll see what this little horror genre produces. It is a quite scary sort of uh, video to watch. But at the moment, you're probably going, well, there's nothing much here. Wait till you watch the video. Okay, guys, we're going to go into the next one, which is going to be the Game of Thrones throne room. And here we are. Wow. All right, let's go a little bit closer. Can we go any closer? Probably not. No. But there it is. There's the throne. And look at this throne room. Isn't that amazing? Even the music as well. Wow. All right, guys, we're getting on to the next one, which is going to be the living room. Okay, so here we are in the living room. We seem to be outside at the moment. A little bit of a glitch. All right. Can we go inside? Let's have a look inside. We've got our records over there. Yeah, it's not a bad little setting. I quite like that one. Hmm, okay, not too bad. All right, the next one we're gonna go into is going to be Portal Chamber. Oh, wow. Is anyone there? Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> this looks quite good. Wow. A bit basic around the bottom, but wow, look at that. That's incredible. Can we move anywhere here? Let's have a look. If you become lightheaded from thirst, feel free to pass out. So, are you a fan of Portal? If you are, leave me a comment. This is quite incredible. Yeah, awesome. And that comes up and down? Somebody okay. cut the cake. I told them to wait for you. <laughs> Cute little audio as well. Okay, so let's go to the next one, which is the Tron Room. Now, if you're a fan of Tron, which I am, ooh, this looks quite good. There's the bike. Yeah, it's a bit basic, but uh, it's still Tron. Okay, let's look at the next one, guys, which is going to be Eagle Flight. Now, this is Lord of the Rings. Oh, and there's the eagle. And if we jump on, we should be able to turn around. And wow, look at that. That is incredible. So this is taking off Lord of the Rings when you're riding the eagle and um, flying around Middle Earth. I don't think this is quite Middle Earth, but it's... Uh, <laughs> It's not too shabby. Oh, look, there's cars and stuff in there. You know this is real world, or based on real world. But wow. Just incredible. Nice music as well. Look down there. So I think all we do is just fly around the top of this mountain here, but what an incredible view. 
Just amazing. Yeah, if you like these videos, guys, give me a thumbs up. And uh, also leave a comment too if you'd like to see more virtual home environments. But as a virtual home environment for this one, <laughs> this is just spectacular. All right, let's go on the next one. So the next one is going to be Art Plunge Starry Night, based on the Van Gogh, or Van Gogh, depending on how you'd like to pronounce it, painting. That's quite nice. Be great, I think, if that was all animated as well, but uh, yeah, quite good. All right, going into the next environment, we're going to go back into pizza. Let's have a look. Oh, wow, we are pizza topping, I believe. <laughs> And we're in some sort of room as well, but uh, wow, look at that. We're sort of miniaturized on the pizza. <laughs> Quite good. I like that one. All right. Next one we're going to go into, guys, is the Doctor Who Time Vortex. Yes. Now, you probably can't experience this from watching this back on YouTube, but uh, it's a bit dizzying in VR to be in this space. Oh, yeah. It's a bit of a stomach churner. But wow. If you're a fan of Doctor Who, let me know in the comments. Let's go to the next one, guys, which is going to be Tropical Island. Okay. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's what you expect, I guess. <laughs> Pretty basic for a little tropical island. All right, the next one we're going to go into and see if you recognize this one is from something to do with monsters. And uh, if you kind of know what it is, let me know in the comments. But uh, it came up when I went to download it that there is um, yeah, a monster sort of approach here. Not really getting it quite, there's a cat over there. Uh, not really quite getting the context of it, except for those eyes there. Maybe that's got something to do with it. Anyway, let's go into the next environment, which is going to be the Futurama Fry's apartment. Okay, so if you're a fan of Futurama, you will recognize this apartment. Yeah, so I'll turn around the other way, I think. Let's have a look. Okay. Yeah, not too bad. <laughs> All right, let's go into the next uh, setting here, which is going to be Mirror's Edge Home. If you're a fan of the video game Mirror's Edge, you shall recognize this. Pretty good animations there with the robot outside. Okay, next environment we're going to is going to be another Minecraft one, guys. This is God Valley. Okay. So a little bit of foreground material there, but uh, that's uh, kind of basic. What's behind? Nothing really behind there. All right. Okay. Next environment we're going to go into is going to be the classic smoking room. Oh, now this is quite nice. Oh, look at that detail. See, it feels like you can reach out and grab these things. They're just amazing perspective that they're put into these environments. Yeah, it's quite classy. Hmm, I like that one. All right. Next environment we're going to go into, guys, is Shark Reef Underwater. Now, this one does have sharks in it. And uh, I do have a bit of a fear with sharks, but uh, they're uh, keeping their distance, which is quite good. I think there's two and one. Yeah, there's two there. Okay. Shark Reef. Quite nice. Next one we're going to go into, guys, is going to be Minecraft Bedwars Lobby. Okay. So this would be the third Minecraft environment that I've got. It's uh, not too bad. Yeah. All right, we're getting on the next one, which is going to be the Minecraft Beach Villa. This would be number four of the Minecraft virtual home environments. Yeah, I don't think you can move around too much. Can you go downstairs? No, you can't. So it's just one level, guys. I'll go back out and have a look around. Yeah, okay. Kind of basic, but uh, not too bad. All right. The next environment we're going to go into is going to be Tomb Raider, the Croft Manor Pool. Ooh, quite nice. Uh, a little bit basic. However, it is true Lara Croft, Tomb Raider style. Okay, the next one we're going to go back into will be Naruto. Ooh, a couple of weapons down there. Yeah, and the bed over there. Okay, not too bad. A little bit of a window sort of approach there. It's uh, it's quite nice. 
Okay. Next one we're going to go into, guys, is going to be GoldenEye 007, The Dam. I'm a big fan of the Nintendo 64 game, which was GoldenEye 007. This is fantastic. Oh, I quite like that. So we'll get a bit closer. Yeah. And I do believe that GoldenEye 007 is going to be released on the Nintendo Switch quite soon. So that's quite a good one. All right, the next one we're going to go into is going to be Bob's Burgers. Let's have a look. Hello, Bob. So there we are in a Bob's Burgers shop. What have we got? Regular special cheese fries, side salad, and soft drink and beer. Okay. Excellent. Can we move around? We can. Uh, nothing really too much outside, but there we are at Bob Burgers Diner. All right. Next one we're going to go into is going to be the Shadow Lair. Ooh, I believe this would be Cyberpunk. Yes. There's the ocular symbol. Keep an eye out for those ocular symbols, guys, in each of the virtual environments. See if you can spot them. Okay, the next one we're going to go into is the Christmas table. Let's have a look. There we are coming up to Christmas 2022, so this would be quite thematic, I believe. If you do have an Oculus Quest, or a Meta Quest, I think they're called now. Uh, this is not a bad little setting as well. Okay, guys, we're going to go back into the Rick and Morty living room, which is one of my favourite ones. Here we go again. So we're going to sit just over here on the couch. Have a look at the TV. So thanks again for all your support in watching all these virtual home environments that I've got on the MetaQuest 2. If you'd like to see more, please do leave me a comment and like and subscribe if you haven't already done that. And then what I'll do is I'll see you in the third one, which will probably be not too far away, where I'll chuck in another, say, 30-odd environments so we can sort of check out and uh, check it with Mr. Me6 there. Uh, some virtual environments on the MetaQuest 2. Thanks for your support, guys. I do appreciate that, and I'll see you next time.